We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Marshall, Missouri, as we get to visit with the new head coach for the Missouri Valley Vikings, Coach Casey Crehan. First season with the program, 13th head coach in program history, a program that goes well more than a century back with its history. First coach, congratulations on the new position. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm certainly uh, honored to be here at Missouri Valley. I mean, the the track record they have in in winning in the NAIA speaks for itself. And uh, we have tremendous people at this institution led by our president, Dr. Parisi, and uh, athletic director, Mockles. Uh, they're truly a group that wants success for not only the whole institution, but the football program. And so I'm very humbled and excited to be here. Coach, let's address that just for a moment, too. I mean, this is a program that has the second most wins in NAIA history, uh, just really, really close to to that uh, top spot, too. But it's it's a program with a coach like Coach Troth, who was there prior to your coming in, 22 years on the job. And talk about that for just a little bit to be able to follow someone like that. I know you haven't experienced it yet on the field, but uh, Coach is still around. Absolutely. And, and um, you know, obviously Coach Troth is a legend in NAIA football. And, um, you know, what he's been able to accomplish on the field and off is, is just been truly amazing. So, um, you know, having been in this business, the football business for over 25 years, uh, it's um, still nice to have somebody like Coach Troth who's going to be available to me on a daily basis. And even though I've been doing it for a long time, I haven't been doing it in Missouri Valley. And the fact that he's still going to be around and um, be available is, is obviously going to be a great benefit for me and my staff. He's a tremendous resource. And uh, I have big shoes to fill, obviously, when it comes to, to trying to replace Coach Troth. You were announced as the head coach in late December. So you've had an opportunity to be a part of the recruiting process to an extent. I know, you know, there, there's only so much that you can do uh, within a, a month getting ready for, you know, signing day in early February. But talk about the recruiting process a little bit. And, and uh, have you been able to bring some folks in since you've been there? We have brought a lot, a large number of folks in here. And, um, you know, the, the thing about NAIA football is the recruiting process never really stops. Uh, um, you know, in past places where I've been the head coach, sometimes we've gotten some of our more impact recruits later in the summer, this time of year at this level. So um, we have a large number of new athletes, student athletes that will be coming into the fold that we're excited about. Um, but again, that process never stops. It's, um, you, you know, I have a couple of recruiting calls scheduled for today. So um, <laughs> we're, we're excited about uh, who we've been able to, to sign at this point. And, and, you know, we're hoping to still sign more. I, I tell the guys all the time, um, I'm all about competition. Competition is the American way. And I'm going to try and bring as much competition in as possible every year. And, and that's what we're, we're trying to do right now. Coach, with, with that in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and we're speaking here with Coach Casey Crehan on Midwest Sports Net, where we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, the, uh, the, there's going to be some turnover, and it's not just because uh, you uh, you know are coming in, but because there were a number of seniors on this team last year, and so uh, there's going to be some turnover coming in. Of course, we get to visit right now. Uh, it, it's going to be a different story once camp gets going. Offense, though, lots of new faces that you're going to get to deal with. And as you said, you're bringing in some folks, too. Yeah, um, you know, Missouri Valley did lose a good number of players to graduation, uh, lost a quarterback, lost a couple all-conference offensive linemen. Um, we were scheduled to return one of our top receivers, but um, due to injury, he's not going to be able to play this season. <clears throat> uh, we lost our top running back. So, yeah, I, I mean, there's, there's, uh, we lost a lot, but I always say, hey, it, it's the next man, next man up mentality. So, obviously, when you lose people, that gives other op people opportunities to step up. 
Well, same thing on the defensive side of the ball, and and I like how you addressed it already, competition. You like to bring competition in there. There are uh, going to be some opportunities then for people to rise to the occasion on the defensive side too. Absolutely. And, um, you, you know, again, our, our – uh, graduation was not kind of the Missouri Valley defense from a year ago. So uh, a number of those starters, you know, are, are gone. Um, but uh, again, you know, there's, there's guys who have been around who are uh, ready to play and, and, you know, they're going to get their opportunity to step up and prove themselves and, and we're excited about them. So, so Missouri Valley fans, right off the bat, let me tell you, you need to get programs at the start of the season. So you're going to, you're going to be getting to know some new names with some numbers. Uh, don't just rely on, on what you've uh, seen in the past. Get to know those new names. Coach, then I, I appreciate you stopping by, and we hope to get to visit with you a little bit more as the season progresses or as it gets a little bit closer. It, it's not that far away, and you have a first uh, first game in your era then, is going to be at home. You get to take on Graceland, very tough opponent there. Crossover matchups to begin with in the Hart Conference, and you go on the road at Clark September 7th and 14th, respectively. And then the Hart South schedule, which is is a bigger schedule now than when you previously coached in the Hart. You get uh, seven teams in a division. It gets underway on October 5th. You get to take on Baker. Yeah, so um, you know, just like my previous tenure in this league, uh, the this league's competitive. There's there's no weeks off. Um, each week you're going to have to line up and play really good football to have it have a chance to win. So, um, you know, obviously it's a competitive schedule. It's a competitive league, but I always try to focus on us. The issue is us. It's never the opponent. You know, what can we get done? Can we continue to get better each and every day? Focusing on the things that we need to focus on, and and you know the the opponents, so they'll be there. It'll take care of themselves. It, those balls are getting kicked off one way or the other, whether we're ready or not. So I'm more worried about our preparation and, and what we're doing in-house. And, uh, you know, hopefully when the time comes, we're ready to play. All right. Well, I have no doubt that's going to be the case. It's a privilege to get to visit with you again as uh, Coach Crehan. Uh, no stranger to Midwest Sportsnet. We've had an opportunity to visit when you were a Lion, had an opportunity to visit at Peru State, and we're excited to get to visit with you now. Missouri Valley, the 13th head coach in program history. Coach Crehan, thank you so much for taking time with us today. We will follow the Vikings this season. Success to you all. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for doing what you do, and, and thanks for having me today. I appreciate it. We'll